Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, even more louder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's turn our attention to the word of God. Let's turn to 2 Samuel 7, chapter 18th verse. 2 Samuel 7, chapter 18th verse. Yes. Mm. Mm. Who am I, O Lord God? And what is my house? That you have brought me this far. Let's all close our eyes. Pray in the presence of God. Lord, who am I, O Jesus? Who am I, O Lord, so that you have brought me this far? This far you have brought me, Lord. Who am I, Lord? Am I worthy for it? How are my houses? I was there in a just a somewhere, somewhere in some corner, Lord, running behind sheep. From that position, Lord, you have brought me down. You put me up from that place, from the shepherd to a servant, from a servant, you raised me up as a king, O oh Jesus. We thank you, Lord. I'm the smallest of the tribe. In the smallest of the tribe, I'm the smallest of the family. In the smallest of the family, I'm the least ignored person. And that person, Lord, you lifted me up, O oh Jesus. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. We look towards you. In Jesus Christ, let me pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like to read one more verse. Second, First Chronicles 29, chapter 23rd verse. First Chronicles 29, chapter 23rd verse. Mm. Sat on the throne of the Lord mm. as king instead of David his father mm. and prospered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just wanted to talk about two generations of blessings. So there is a person called David and there is a person called Solomon. David's life was totally different. He was born as a shepherd. He was born with a staff. Solomon born with a silver spoon. Amen. David grew up in a very different stage. He had to pass through so many struggles to become a king. He had to, he had to be a shepherd. He had to be a slave. He had to run behind people, run away from people who are trying to kill him. Everything he has to face. Then God lifted him up, up as a king. But in life of Solomon, it was not like that. The kingdom was directly handed over to him. Amen. Hallelujah. In David's life, there are so many dejections, so many rejections, so many backstabbings, so many people who, whom he trusted, whom he loved whom he respected, everything, every people rose against him. But in Solomon's life, it was totally a different story. Amen. Hallelujah. You must have to remember some of the blessings of our life. We're going to talk about how to handling the blessings of the Lord. Some of the blessings that we got, sometimes we would have received like David. Sometimes, maybe we would have also received some blessings like Solomon. Amen. Hallelujah. Some blessings we would have fought so hard, so struggled so much. I tried for 50 times, and the 50th time, some other way I got it. Sometimes, first attempt, I got it. Amen. Hallelujah. But you must remember both things, it can be the 50th time, it can be the first time. But both things are blessings from God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Sometimes you would have passed through so many wilderness in your life. So many tough days in your life. To get up. To come to a position. In some people's life you feel that it is directly being given to you. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes it is directly being given to you. Sometimes... We had to pass through so many things. So just read this verse. Genesis 49, chapter 26 to us. 49, 26. The 
ब्लेसिंग ऑफ योर फादर हैव एक्सेल द ब्लेसिंग्स ऑफ माय एंसेस्टर्स अप टू द अटमोस्ट बाउंड ऑफ द एवरलास्टिंग हिल्स दे शैल बी ऑन द हेड ऑफ जोसेफ एंड ऑन द क्राउन ऑफ द हेड ऑफ हिम हु वाज सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम हिज ब्रदर यस हालेलुया blessing of the your father's blessing are greater than the blessings the blessing of your father have excelled excelled the blessings of my ancestors some of the blessings comes from the ancestors ennoda tata sotthu amen hallelujah ennoda tata sotthu it was handed over to me it came as a blessing in my life some blessings came in this way some blessings came through rough path but how we handle our blessings but always remember the blessings came from the lord amen hallelujah for my first point i like to talk about three different sons the first son luke 15 chapter luke 15 chapter from 11th verse can you read it Yes, read the eleventh adult verse. Then he said, mm. "A certain man had two sons, mm. and the younger of them said to his father, mm. 'Father, mm. give the portion of goods that falls to me.' Mm. So he divided to them his livelihood." In a hallelujah, hallelujah, the younger son comes to the father and says, "Father, give me my wealth, my share." Sometimes, few of the blessings. we call it as legal rights amen those are what legal rights this younger son did not ask something that is out of his hand but he asked something that is legal to him amen hallelujah the father did not fight with him father gave his share amen the second son genesis 25 chapter 34th verse genesis 25 34 Mm. a bread and stew of lentils mm. then he ate and drank mm. arose and went his way hallelujah 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 and thus isa despised this because of just born before seconds before jacob who was a twin brother this guy this guy isa had two times of blessings amen two parts more than other other brothers he had two parts that was his birth right amen hallelujah that was his birth right there is one more person one more son in the bible genesis 24th chapter genesis 24th chapter 35th and 36th verse so he said mm. Mm. the lord has blessed my master greatly mm. and he has become great and mm. he has given him flocks and herds mm. silver and gold mm. male and female servants mm. and camels and donkeys mm. and sarah my master's wife mm. bore a son to my master mm. when she was old mm. and to him he has given all that he has and to him he has given all he has as solomon received a blessing as the anger son received a blessing as the esa as a blessing in the same way isaac also has a blessing from his father amen hallelujah every child and we are talking about four different child the first child solomon second child the anger son the third child esa the fourth child isaac all the four inherited their blessings from their father all the four inherited their legal rights but what happens is sometimes something that is very well handed over to us all the four things they did not work they did not plow the field they did not go through rough times they did not be in uh, in desert or wilderness everything all the four people the blessings were handed over to them but how it was handled in 15th chapter we can see that uh look look chapter 15 chapter uh we can see that this boy left his father within a few times within a few few way and after that the ocean sank down to a cup the cup 
sank down to a drop and nothing was left. Amen. Hallelujah. The elder son even more explains it in Luke 15 chapter 30th verse. Luke 15 chapter 30th but verse. As soon as the son of yours came, mm. who has devoured your livelihood mm. with harlots, mm. you killed the fatted calf. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You, he destroyed your wealth with prostitutes. Amen. Hallelujah. Wealth was handed over to him. But what he did? He destroyed the wealth. Second son, Isa, we read that verse. In that, in that verse, his blessings, he gave it out for one time food. Amen. Hallelujah. For one time food, he gave out his blessings. He did not work for it. He did not understand the worth of his blessings. He gave out his blessing. And the third guy, read Hebrews 12th chapter, how he destroyed the blessings. Hebrews 12th chapter, 16th and 17th verse, read it for me, please. Lest there be any mm. fornicators or profane persons like Esau, mm. who for one morsel of food sold his birthright. Mm. For you know that afterward, mm. when he wanted to inherit the blessing, mm. he was rejected, mm. for he found no place for repentance, mm. though he sought it diligently with tears. Hallelujah. 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 The lost is lost. This legal blessings someone has handed over to you, which came under the silver plate to you, and if you lose it, you're not going to retain it back. Amen. Hallelujah. Think about this prodigal son, the younger son, in his life, he came back. Yes, he came back. After he coming back, there was maybe a biryani that will be given to him. Maybe his dress changed. Maybe his foot, footwear changed. Maybe he is also given a ring. But the full stop is that. Amen. He cannot inherit his brother's blessing anymore. That blessing belongs to the brother. Amen. Hallelujah. If you lose your blessings, a just given blessings, some blessings are just given to you, handed over to you. We don't understand the seriousness of it. We take it so lightly. Father struggled so hard. So father struggled. I did not struggle. And so what happens? We ignore that blessing and we take it lightly and we start losing the blessing. A big ocean comes to a cup. That cup comes to a drop. And finally, nothing is there. Be very careful about the blessings that has been handed over to you. Amen. Hallelujah. As, as, as this prodigal son, this younger son, don't corrupt the blessings that were handed over to you. You must understand. For example, I just want to take myself. Uh, the ministry that my father did is not the ministry that I do. Yes, hallelujah. He would have, he, he, he walked over streets, he walk, walked over all the places. And God has given something in a different way to me. It is not that I can take it for granted. But if you don't protect your blessing, I can lose my blessing. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Be careful about the blessings that God has handed over to you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This third son, Isaac. A very important guy. This Isaac was a son of a billionaire. Amen. He was not a normal man. He was son of a billionaire. But this billionaire son, I don't want to mention Isaac. I just wanted to mention as a billionaire son. What he did, uh, Genesis 22nd chapter 8 was. Genesis 22nd chapter 8 was. Mm. My son, mm. God will provide for himself mm. the lamb for a burnt offering. Mm. So the two of them went together. Hallelujah. Whatever his father said, he followed. He obeyed. 63rd, 24th chapter 63rd verse. 24th chapter 63rd verse. And Isaac went out to meditate in the field. He meditated. A billionaire son meditated on scriptures on the word of god 25th chapter 21st verse 
Hallelujah. Isaac did not waste his blessing like Esau or the prodigal son, the younger son or Solomon, but Isaac built upon his blessing. If you lose your blessing, again I say you, maybe there is a hug, maybe there is a kiss, maybe that you are forgiven, maybe there will be a biryani, there will be a dress, there will be a ring, there is a shoe. That's it. You cannot regain the lost blessings. Be very careful upon the blessings that were handed over to you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hold on to God. When things are handed over to you, when blessings are just coming to you in a silver plate, in a silver spoon, if blessings are just handed over to you, remember, in that time, hold on to God. Not only for 50th time, 50th time I'm trying, I'm holding on to God. No. Even if you do it for the first time, hold on to God. That blessing is from God. And if you don't hold on to God, your blessing shall vanish away. Amen. Hallelujah. Hold on to the blessings that God is giving in your life. Hallelujah. 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 The second way of God blessing us, the first way is legal rights that we get from the Father. Legal rights, something that is just handed over to us, not through different efforts, but some blessing that is just handed over to us. Be careful about that. Protect that. Hold on to God. Let the name of the Lord be glorified. Hallelujah. Second blessing, turn to 1 Samuel. 1 Samuel 16 chapter, first verse. 1 Samuel 16, chapter 1st verse. Now the Lord said to Samuel, mm. How long will you mourn for Saul, mm. seeing I have rejected him from mm. re reigning over Israel? Mm. Fill your horn with oil mm. and go. Mm. I am sending you to Jesse, the Bethlehemite, mm. for I have provided myself a king among his sons. Hallelujah. 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 Saul, God selected Saul. He was the most worthy person in Israel. To be a king, the most tall person, most handsome person, a best person to be a king. And right now, someone else's problems become a blessing to another person. Amen. Hallelujah. Someone else's problem become a blessing to another person. A problem of Saul become a blessing to David. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to this very carefully. Saul's family was totally different. David's family was totally different. Saul got selected in a very different way. In, in David's life, Bethlehem was a very small town. In that a very small family. In that a very small person. Amen. Hallelujah. God selected David in a totally different format. How God selected Saul. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, still with me. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Uh, I just heard a few, few, few weeks before. I just was reading some message. Think about this. What if, for example, I just wanted to go with Ruth and Naomi are there. Amen. Hallelujah. Ruth and Naomi are there. And right now, Ruth goes to Boaz's field and she gathers the uh, leftover grains from that place. And after that, a hopeless person, a hopeless Ruth, there is no hope for her, there is no things to be holding on. But at that time, someone else just got the attention and from in that same field, she becomes the master. Amen? Hallelujah? Think about this. What if, what if Ruth's first husband did not die? Ruth's first husband did not die. She would have, they wouldn't have come back to Jerusalem. Yes or no? Amen? They would have stayed in their same place. Everything would have been changed. Sometimes, something negative may happen around. In that time, something positive will happen to you. Amen? Hallelujah. There are some things that are negative happening around. Never be discouraged. Lord wants to remind you, something good and beautiful is that for you. Hold on to God. Hold on to God. Someone else's problem becomes a blessing in your life. Someone else's problem shall become a blessing in your life. David asked to the Lord, what is my house? What am I, O Lord? Nothing. But God can change things in your life. A small David raised to a king. A Ruth who lost every hope. Everything was lost. And she became the owner of the land. One more example. We all know about Esther. Esther. Vasti, she was the queen. Her problem made Esther the queen. Amen. Somebody's mess was your blessing, can also be your blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you still with me? Hallelujah. Read Genesis 16, chapter. Genesis 16, chapter, fifth verse. Genesis 16, 5. Abraham, mm. my wrong be upon you. Mm. I gave my maid into your embrace, mm. and when she saw that she had conceived, mm. I became despised in her eyes. Hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Are you still with me? Hallelujah. hallelujah. See, in this place, there is a problem for Sarah. Amen. There is a problem for Sarah. So, what she do? She gives a servant to Abraham, okay? Listen to this very carefully. As an alternative, as every other alternative, as in Esther's life, this servant girl also becomes a alternative. But this servant girl did not use it properly. Amen? When she did not use it properly, what happens over here is, the master sends her off with one time food and little water, that's it, everything is over. Amen? Somebody's mess can become your blessing, but if you are not humble, I like to put it in this way, if you are not humble to receive that blessing, that blessing can go away from your life. Amen? Hallelujah! First thing, some blessings are just given to you as legal rights to you. Hold on to God at that moment. Secondly, somebody's mess is be has become a blessing in your life. On that time, don't be proud about yourself. Be humble. Be humble as Esther. Be humble as Ruth. Be humble as David. Be humble. If you are humble, the blessing shall stay, on, stay to you. But if you be proud upon yourself, the blessings that came from some other hands shall also be taken away from you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. If God can raise a person, no one can stop it. At the same time, 
if god can walk wants to push a person no one can stop it amen hallelujah be careful upon the blessings that god has given you the lord sometimes blesses you because of a mess of somebody else maybe we can connect it to our own life maybe someone in your office messes up things bad and you get an opportunity and god raises you up and after going there don't be proud like this servant agar she started mocking the person sara and when she started mocking the person when you start mocking your hr or someone else sometimes you shall also be put down amen be humble before god be humble before men the lord shall raise you your blessing shall be stable amen, amen. hallelujah 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 thirdly turn to deuteronomy 7 chapter deuteronomy 7 chapter 6 through 8 verse for you are a holy people to the lord your mm. god mm. god the lord your god has chosen you to be a people for himself mm. a special treasure above all the peoples on the face of the earth mm. the lord did not set his love on you mm. you mm. not chose you mm. because you were more in number than mm. any other people mm. for you were the least of all people mm. but because the lord loves you mm. and because he would keep the oath which he swore to your fathers mm. the lord has brought you out with a mighty hand mm. and redeemed you from the house of bondage mm. from the hand of pharaoh king of egypt mm. therefore mm. know that the lord your god in a hallelujah hallelujah so first blessing a blessing a legal blessing that comes to you amen no efforts put in but legally it comes to you second blessing someone else's mess becomes a blessing in your life amen hallelujah first when you get the legal rights when things were handed over to you hold on to god secondly when someone else's blessing is coming to you humble yourself be more humble let the lord raise you a third blessing it is directly a blessing from god amen hallelujah it is not someone else's mess it is not someone else who has just handed over to you but is a blessing directly from god that is coming upon you amen god did not select israel because it was a big number or strong it was it is not about how great they were nothing like that but god selected them because he has promised amen he just the bible clearly says because he has made a word to your fathers because he has promised to set set you apart he is blessing you he is giving you everything joshua 24 chapter joshua 24 chapter 13th verse joshua 24 13 i have given you a land for mm. which you did not labor mm. and cities which you did not build mm. and you dwell in them mm. you eat of the wine yards mm. and olive groves which you did not plant mm. now therefore mm. here... enough enough hallelujah hallelujah think about this if they want food heaven's food came to them amen hallelujah if they want water fresh water from rocks came to them amen are you still with me hallelujah if they want meat fresh meat came to them their dress was not spoiled the lord was like a fire in the night and cloud in the day why fire in the night in the wilderness it will go to extreme temperatures in the night it can be even minus degree the lord was like a fire protecting them calming down the temperature amen hallelujah everything was controlled temperature was controlled everything was controlled by god and finally they inherit a land in that land also they did not do anything the houses were already built the gardens were already there everything the vineyards were already made everything plantation everything is made and it has been handed over to them amen hallelujah hallelujah think about the situation so many people started from egypt but how many reached the promised land two people reached the promised land if you wanted to inherit 
the lord's blessing in your life if murmur if sin is there in our life the blessings we cannot see what is coming in our life amen hallelujah read the 14th verse now therefore mm. fear the lord mm. serve him in sincerity and mm. in truth mm. and put away the gods which your fathers served on the other side of the river mm. and in egypt mm. serve the lord mm. and if it seems even to you to mm. serve the lord mm. choose for yourself this day mm. whom you will serve yare need save people continue whether the gods Mm. which your father served that were on the other side of the river mm. or the gods of amorite mm. in whose land you dwell mm. but as for me and my house mm. we will serve the lord hallelujah nanum en vittarum endral kathriye see joshua pours out his heart and says ninga irukka veedala ninga kattnad illa pa ipo ninga nalla jaliya irukra thotala நீங்க கட்டினது கிடையாது நீங்க செஞ்சது கிடையாது யூ டி நாட் பிளான் தட் யூ டி நாட் பில்ட் தட் எவ்ரி திங் வாஸ் கிவன் டு யூ பட் இஃப் யூ டோன்ட் ஃபியர் த லாட் ஹூம் வில் யூ ஃபியர் ஹூம் வில் யூ சர்வ் பி கிளியர் ஆன் தட் ஃபார் மீ அண்ட் மை ஹவுஸ் ஹோல்ட் வி வில் சர்வ் த லாட் ஐ மேன் ஹலூயா வென் காட் கிவ்ஸ் யுவர் பிளஸ்ஸிங் டு யூ ஹானர் த லாட் வென் காட் கிவ்ஸ் யுவர் பிளஸ்ஸிங் டு யூ ஹானர் த லாட் when blessings are given to you just like that hold on to god when someone else blessing someone else mess becomes a blessing in your life humble yourself and thirdly when god blesses you always remember to honor the lord amen hallelujah the lord blesses you in a very different way that we don't expect definitely the people of israel wouldn't have expected such a blessing in their life maybe a little bit but god expanded it in such a big way and god reminds each and every one of us when god blesses you always honor the lord amen hallelujah when god blesses you with a job honor the lord when god blesses you with a house honor the lord when god blesses you with the things your family your children honor the lord never say because of my job because of my children because of the wealth that i have i am protecting those things and giving second priority to god amen hallelujah when god blesses you honor the lord hallelujah hallelujah two people we started with david solomon one person struggled this way to get to the kingdom to the to the top position to be as a king the other person was just handed over the kingdom one person struggled so much to build the temple of god he saved everything best for the temple of god another person fall in wicked traps and spoiled his kingdom remember which side we are we saw about three different sons a prodigal son who took away his share went away spent with harlots and destroyed father's wealth when you come back maybe you are forgiven maybe you are given a good cloth maybe a good feast is there for you maybe there is good ring that has been given to you new dress that has been given to you but always remember you cannot regain the blessings and secondly we saw about esa esa sold his birthright for one time food and even though he wanted it back he couldn't get it back isaac a billionaire son obeyed his father prayed meditated believed in god did not murmur built an altar for god god blessed him even 100 times more amen, amen. hallelujah when things are handed on to you hold on to god believe in god secondly when someone else mess becomes a blessing in your life when when vasti's mess becomes a blessing in esther's life a mess of saul becomes a blessing in david's life humble yourself humble yourself you can be a ruth god is blessing you with impossible things humble yourself when you are humble 
God will make impossible things happen in your life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. You would have gone to just pick some grains from that time to the ruler of the place, to the owner of that place, God can change. You have come as a servant, as, as, as a slave to that land, but God has a plan. He can change you as a queen. Believe in God. When you do that, humble yourself. Humble yourself. Thirdly, the Lord wants to bless you. When Lord wants to bless you, always remember, honor the Lord all the time. Fear the Lord. Honor the Lord. That is what God is expecting you. If you don't fear the Lord, we are passing through our different phases in our life. Let, let's not stop in the middle and lose the blessing that God has promised in our life. Let us go till the end. Receive the blessing. Honor Him. And always for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's all be on our feet together. Jesus. Jesus. Let every eyes be closed. If God has spoken to you, close your eyes, look towards the Lord and talk to the Lord. Let every eyes be closed. If God has spoken anything to you, open your mouth and speak to the Lord. Come on, church. Come on, church. It's your time. Recollect things, recollect things, recollect things, church. The blessing that was handed over to me are blessings that were, that came to me because of someone else's mess. A blessing that you yourself gave me. Lord, teach me to honor you, Lord. Teach me to hold on to you, Lord. Teach me to humble your, myself before your feet, Lord. I want to come forward and lead us in prayer for a while. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you for speaking to us today, O oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, you have adopted us, O oh Father, as sons and daughters, O oh Lord. We are your children, O oh Father. We inherit blessings, O oh Father, from you, O oh Lord Jesus. When you give us a blessing, O oh God, hallelujah. Give us a wisdom and understanding to handle it, O oh Father. Lord Jesus, whatever blessings that you have given in our lives, O oh Father, it is from you, O oh Lord Jesus. We would have received, O oh Father, from, it would have been given to us, O oh Lord Jesus, without even asking, O oh Lord Jesus. Might be from forefathers, O oh God. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Give us a humble heart, O oh Father. Use it properly, O oh Father, for your glory, O oh God. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Lord Father, Lord Jesus, somebody should have messed up something, O oh Father. And you would have given us a blessing, O oh Father. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. Give us an understanding, O oh Lord Jesus. Help us to humble and serve you, O oh Father. Yes, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, hallelujah. When you give us blessings directly, O oh Father, we should serve you alone, O oh Father. Not the passions of our own, O oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, th thank you for teaching us, O oh Lord Jesus. The principles of your kingdom, O oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Father God, hallelujah. When you bless us, O oh Father, when you bless your people, O oh God, help us to handle that blessing, O oh God, with care, O oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. We should not, hallelujah, use anything un in an unworthy manner, O oh Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Every blessing that you pour out on us, O oh Father, is from above, O oh Lord Jesus. Father of lights, who is blessing us, O oh Lord Jesus, give us that understanding, O oh Father. We should not waste anything, O oh Lord. We should not, hallelujah, profane anything, O oh Lord Jesus, that you have given unto us, O oh Lord Jesus. Yes, Father God, hallelujah, hallelujah. Help us to meditate on these things throughout this week, O oh Father. 
yes lord jesus and help us to hallelujah increase the position that you have given to us increase the upon the blessings that you have given to us oh god we should multiply oh father your people should multiply oh lord jesus hallelujah they should not decrease oh father because of their hallelujah lord jesus ill ways oh father we should hallelujah walk in your ways as isaac did oh father in meditating your word in praying oh lord jesus in humbling oh father doing your word oh father without quarreling with people oh father hallelujah how he multiplied the blessings oh father we should do that oh lord jesus hallelujah thank you lord thank you for being with us so master speaking to us in jesus name we pray amen let's all say together bless the lord of oh my soul all that is within me praise his holy name bless the lord of oh my soul and forget not all his benefits may the grace of the lord and savior jesus christ love of god and communion of holy spirit be with each and every one of us forever and ever hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah